Good morning! Alright, today is Tuesday, I believe. Kind of hard to keep track of the days here lately, but um, we're back to work day number two on our barn painting. So we'll see what we can do with this masterpiece today and, and uh, keep it going so we can get it finished by the end of the week. talk about what um, I've got going on here. I'm working on my rough, um, trying different textures, trying to decide how I want to um, portray the shingles. And I'm gonna turn my camera after I get done talking to you so that you guys can see the barn um, because your depiction might be different than the way I depict it. And that's kind of the beauty of art is that your mark making isn't the same um, as mine. And, and that's what makes art unique. And so I've been trying, I have my paper plate here. I'm mixing um, some different shades of brown with some black and white, kind of getting some gray tones because really the roof of my barn right now um, looks kind of gray. Um, so lighting, you know, changes that. But um, I'm trying some, I'm trying to depict that a little bit with um, some shadow and highlight, kind of brushing. Um, in the direction that I want my rough to go. Like I want this to appear more slant, like coming down. So I'm angling my paintbrush as I paint that area. This one, um, I'm using my brush more um, left and right. Um, but just having fun. And you'll notice sometimes I'll use the back of my paintbrush. I'm a very, like I love texture, I love texture. So I'll even like when my paint is wet, I'll, you'll see me kind of um, scratching in there to create some texture. Um, it's just my style, the way I like to um, paint. So I'm gonna move my easel so that you guys have a little more view of the barn, um, as well as you can kind of see my work. Um, but, but don't let my work um, crutch your creativity. Um, I wanna see what you can do, and we'll probably just work on the roof today. Um, we'll just kind of focus on that and then that will give us something to do tomorrow. We'll have our background. Um, maybe some of you eventually are going to add a windmill. I don't know yet if I'm going to add a windmill. I'm um, just kind of waiting to see uh, where this painting takes me. So let's keep going. Also, you'll notice me get up and, and move. All good artists step away from the art. You need to look at it from a different spot because a lot of times we're right up here in it and, and we can't um, sometimes see uh, what's wrong with that piece until we step away from it. So it's okay to stand up and walk away from your painting. Um, you guys saw me this morning go back and, and reshape um, my roof. Um, I have drawn and painted this barn, I don't know how many times, like a thousand, and I still mess up that angle of that roof. I always make it too short that I guess I don't know so do walk away from your artwork um, look at it this is kind of the nice thing about working on this all week is that you aren't just in that moment like you can walk away and then come back to it and revisit it and, and that's healthy that's good okay so some of the things um, that I am looking for um, as I'm painting the roof. Um, I'm looking for those dark areas and the light areas. So the shadowed areas and the highlights. Um, that's what's gonna give your painting depth, okay? So like as I'm looking at this part of the roof um, on the outside, it is a lot lighter. Um, so I'm trying to mix white there. And then it's gonna feel weird as you paint it because you're like, well, that's not, um, what I think a barn should look like or the roof should look like. You may have in your mind, you know, oh, it needs to be brown, we're painting the roof. Um, we have to break away from those preconceived colors and we really have to look. So I like to tell my students, um, you know, as we're working in color, that you gotta turn, literally, turn off your brain, <laughs> what you think, um, and use your eyes, really rely on your eyes. And that's, it's really hard, especially if it's, um, 
not something that you're used to doing. And, and then sometimes um, you can visually see it, but it's hard to mimic it. Um, so just really working on trying to put down what you actually see and not what you think um, it should look like. Um, a lot of times like an example would be a blue sky or water when um, we paint it blue. Um, it's not always blue because of the reflection or the shadows. So really taking time and breaking down that image into specific colors and um, shadows. Okay, I'm really starting to like my roof. Um, some problem areas that I'm gonna keep working on. And you know, tomorrow I'll probably come back and be like, oh, I hate that roof, what was I thinking? Um, but some of the areas that I'm gonna try to work out here um, before I sign off for today is some of the areas that are outlined. Um, I don't wanna have a specific like outline. Um, we have a tendency to outline things um, as we like, just do that. Um, and you know, I mean, I've been painting, I don't know, I started painting in college. So, you know, when I was 18, um, so I've been painting a little while because now I'm 36. Whoa, that's a long time. Uh, <laughs> but, um, you know, trying to break up some of those outlines, like I have one right here that I, I'm not very happy with. Kind of breaking that part up, but I love this part here. I love texture. Um, you might not be a texture artist, you may be more um, a, a neater artist, or you know, smooth, you want your surface smooth, but that's okay. Um, that, like I said before, that's the beauty of art is, is we can all interpret um, our own style into painting. So, I'm gonna go ahead and kind of work this area a little bit, and then I'm gonna put this guy on hold until tomorrow. Um, thank you guys for joining me today, and I'm excited to have you back tomorrow, and at the end of the week, I look forward to uh, seeing your bar paintings, and if you um, are painting along with me and you share your painting at the end of the week, I have some great giveaways, so you may be um, eligible to win that, so keep making art, and we'll see you guys tomorrow.